Alright people, welcome back. More Vam and Y. Still not used to being back yet, but we are totally back. More Vam and Y, we're using New Bones actors today. Ah, and I actually get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! after some tediousness, so you guys know. Or if you guys don't know, I actually have like an automatic annotationer, and it pretty much just puts all the annotations for me for the end of the video. Yeah, after I came back from my trip, uh, the thing pretty much broke. Like. It, it wasn't lined up and it would click random things and it just wouldn't it wouldn't do the annotations and just like no so i woke up at seven o'clock in the morning and i literally worked on that thing until like 10 like it was super tedious to work on super tedious i was like wow like it's broken. It, 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 this is gay, you know? So I had to reset the coordinates and reprogram it, and then it was still breaking, so I had to, like, take it, like, one part at a time, you know? It wasn't as simple as just changing a couple coordinates. I literally had to make it from the ground up all over again, and I was just like, wow. Well, here we go. It, it took me three hours, but I finally got it working again. Because <laughs> it may take me three hours to do, to set it up again, but like I said, if I were to do it manually, it would take me, what, five minutes. There's like approximately three videos that go up each day. So that's 15 minutes. 15 minutes multiplied by however many days I do. Eventually, uh, I'm gonna, on average, I'm going to pass up three hours. So, oh, my opponent's using Exodia. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I apologize, people. I didn't know. I didn't know that my opponent, wow, so you'd rather get the Jar of Greed than, than the piece of Exodia. Okay. I guess. Well, I know exactly ca what card I'm not going to go after. You know what, to tell you the truth? He's up on resources, I'm probably just going to exit on him. Like, fuck it. You can chain all the cards, I don't care, but... I'm pretty much going to make you burn through everything. So how to beat Exodia? Put, how to beat Exodia? Apply the pressure. Apply the pressure. Because when you apply the pressure, then they run out of resources. Okay, you can go chain, chain, chain. I don't care. But I'm going to apply the pressure. You know, so you can chain all them cards, but you know, eventually you're gonna start drawing into pieces of Exodia. You're not gonna be drawing into uh, uh, your battle faders and your swift scarecrows. Okay. Okay. So that's the end of the chain. All right. No, no, it's Exodia. He already revealed a piece. It's Exodia. Get rid of that. See? There goes the threatening room. Sure. Sure, Scrub. Sure, Scrub. Sure. Sure. I gotta go. Sure, Scrub. Sure. Ah. I love that. I love that. People lose and they start getting a bind. Oh, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't, I can't stay. I'm like, mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. You know for a damn fact that if it can be your turn and you could draw an ass ton of cards. Oh no, I don't I don't have any way to go. You know? If he was winning, he'd be like, oh well it can wait, you know, I'm about to win with fucking Exodia because I'm so fucking pro. But no, no. As soon as I fucking put him in per, apply the pressure, put him in a bind, he's like, Nope, nope, gotta go. Like sure. Sure. Sounds okay. I said, if I have to, I might just go Dark Graph for Pitch the Dragonfly to send the Hornet because I can always bring it back with Oasis. Depends on if I draw a Dark Monster or not. There's a ton of Dark Monsters. The good majority of them, that is Dark Monsters. Oh, okay. That was weird. Okay. Hmm. So I need a charge in attack mode. Okay. So who are you gonna get? You can get Pike, Gun, Lind. A lot of cards you can get. Marmels. 
is um what's his name again not the best is he on here I don't think so yeah I'll summon Dark Graffer and pick Dark Graffer the Marvels don't really play much background unless this guy's playing background but I'm assuming one of them is the best fear I'm to assume that so I'm gonna go ahead and drop Hornet Got the Dragon Foy and I got the Mask Chameleon to go ahead and black raise the field whenever I'm good and ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kamikaze. I'll crash. I'd rather crash because my Dark Ruffer is not as important as your uh, TS because I really do not want you to go into like a uh, a a like a Gaios. Not right now. Gaios would be big trouble. Big, big trouble. Alright, so like I said, I'm just to assume that one of those is a big sphere, so I'm gonna go ahead and black rose him now. So even if he goes ahead and chains whatever, he only gets gun effect once per turn. So at that point, oh wait, that, wait, wait, I can't do that. That's a, uh, that's freaking, that's the, that's fucking, oh my god, what's the name of the monster? It's the British Dragon I can do that. Why do I keep on thinking the Mask Chameleon can do that? It's the British Dragon. Oops. Can the British Dragon go into multiples? Shit. What's the status of... I, I forgot the stats of Gund. I think it's still bigger than a Dragonfly though. But let's go ahead and do this. We'll just go ahead and pop multiple. Like I said, I, do, I don't care if he chains Abyss Fears and stuff like that. Not at all. Because, like I said, he only gets more. Oh, well, you could have mind crashed me. Could have mind crashed my mass chameleon. I would have lost all of them. That would have been my bad, too. That would have been all my fault. You want your near this fear? Pulse. Wow, you want to give me my fucking dragonfly back? You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Who the fuck does that? Gives me my dragonfly back. I like this guy. He likes to give me my fucking cards back. <coughs> I'm not gonna do much. If he wants to go ahead and something flip it and then crash and then summon and crash, I don't care. But if he doesn't and he wants to take it slow, then I'll just equip pop, equip pop. So yeah, I'm not really in a hurry. I'll just go ahead and set this and end my turn. Compulsed my dragonfly. Cool story, bro. <clears throat> uh huh. Deck. What happened to gun? Deck. Send a water monster from deck. <laughs> this guy. When this card is normal, you can send one water monster from your deck to the graveyard. Not your hand. Deck. It says right there. On your card. Deck. Still don't get in. You shouldn't send them. You shouldn't send gun. You won't get effect. Has to be discarded. Oh my god. Ha! Ah, you are an idiot. Ha 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 Go ahead and pop that. I don't care if it's gunned. I'm gonna go ahead and get my search. I right, one more centipede. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Like I can't handle that. I was just like, wow. Like what you thought you should just say when sent to the graveyard by a water monster? Like, no, oh, has to be discarded. 
Ah. Hello. Effect. Equip. Effects. Pop. Summon. Go ahead and summon Hopper. Yep. Fact. Fact. Pop. <coughs> ah. Excuse me. Ah. All right, Dragonfly attack. Let's get all this good damage in. No, that's wrong, but whatever. <laughs> it's actually 33, but I'll let, it, I'll let it go. I'll let it go because your math is probably, yo, <laughs> your math is probably so incorrect that I, I don't even feel like bothering with it. And I, I'll keep, I'll keep Dragonfly. I don't really care if it gets killed. I really don't. I can revive it. Got the limit first. I've got the Oasis. I can just revive it and cause more destruction. Yep, that's what I thought. God. Alright. Should be able to get one more duel in this video. Yeah, you know, I took my break, came back, and... <sighs> People didn't get much better. Still arguing with everybody. And I mostly know how to play more else. It's been a cool minute since I played them. Because they've been on uh, Daily Duels, the longest deck on Daily Duels, definitely. Once again, opened up really well. We'll go ahead and activate the Rota. Give me an Armageddon Knight, which I might just pitch, depending on what I reveal with Pot. Uh, pot. Another pot, ultimate nightmare, and uh, uh, I'll take the pot. Yep, I'll take the pot. I don't need I don't need the hopper right now. I absolutely don't need it. Some dark buffer effect. I'll pitch the Armageddon Knight, and I'll go ahead and send Hornet. Go ahead. I want the Oasis to be active when I start doing the Dragonfly play, but he has, if he has the MST, then I can't... Oh, I can train with someone I'm getting at, but I won't get its effect because I'm getting at has to be on the field to resolve its effect. Hmm. Okay. I still don't like that card. I still think it's dumb. Breaking roll number one and number two of Yu-Gi-Oh! But unless you're being sacky with it, like playing Exodia or one of them decks, then... I don't even recommend. Because you're not supposed to let your opponent draw, but why do you care if your opponent draws? You know, when uh, you're not interacting with them. You know, if you're active, if you're interacting with your opponent, that's one of the last things you want to do is give your opponent resources. So he plays the card, draws the card, so he's draws out. But I draw at plus. You don't want to let your opponent plus. So I hope it's worth the exchange of you know. The damage. But knowing my opponent here, he's probably just gonna, I don't know, go for like infinity or something. Oh, definitely a fell burn. Mm hmm. So, go ahead and get yourself a Galaxy Knight. Summon Galaxy Knight, Galaxy Knight, go ahead and summon Galaxy Knight. I time dragon, go for Felgram, I'm assuming. And at that point, I'm just completely fucked. <laughs> <coughs> completely and utterly fucked. Nope, he wants another Galaxy Soldier. Okay. I really thought you were going to get Galaxy Knight. Maybe you already had the Galaxy Knight in your hand. Oh, you're a normal summon this turn. That's right, you're a normal summon. Alright. It's like, oh, wait, he can continue his combo. Oh, there's the Debris Dragon me to go into the combo. I'm not really planning on doing much this turn. I'm just going to take the duel slow. Can't do any damage, so there's really no point in me overextending this turn. I'm going to go ahead and activate Pot. Don't want to bell. Actually, you know what? I want you bell. Yeah, I'll take you bell. I will take you bell. I bet tricking. He tells like, what? He took you bell? Like, wait, I have Dark Greffer. Like, yeah, I'll take you bell. It's a dark target to discard, and it's the correct one. So. I will take that. I'll go ahead and drop Phantom of Chaos. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just kill your galaxy soldier. So it's a limit reverse, and end my turn. Alright, sir. Go ahead, show me what you got. You know, discard and special summon another galaxy so soldier. Galaxy soldier search for galaxy knight. Galaxy knight summon summon galaxy eyes. Go into like a fellow grand or any really any rank eight. Is that do I know your place really well? Okay. I say galaxy soldier is definitely the most powerful card in the deck. Definitely, most definitely the most powerful card in the deck. Hmm. Oh, there's Galaxy Knight. Okay. <coughs> mm-hmm. Gonna next thing like a powerful Felgram. Or are you just going to go for one of your Galaxy Isaac Sea Monsters? Nope, touch you That's fun. Oh, you're all done full on her. Alright. And is your effect attached to Sea Material? Destroy my... My Cracker, that's fine. It's not worth half my fucking life points right now. He said, if you would've stuck, stuck, stuck with Tachyon, I would took it, but you wanted to go ahead and next see him to full armor? I only get your effect once per turn, you can destroy me, still get terror, so. I'll block. So full armor, isn't he... He's in some set. Oh, he's in... He's coming as the OCG import in Clash Rebellion. So yeah, he's finally out. Looking in your extra deck. So are you really gonna go into Dark Matter? Is it really worth it? You don't you don't even run dragons like that. It's in your turn. <coughs> ah. And you know what? Just because I'm going against the Galaxy Eyes deck, I'm actually gonna summon Terra and attack mode. Because he's gonna take his Galaxy Eyes. He's gonna ram it into me, he's gonna take his 3,000, we're gonna get bad, I'm gonna get Ultimate Nightmare. Like, it's worth it. It's worth it. Only, only if I'm doing a Galaxy Eyes deck. Terror effect. Doesn't work with, uh, with Ultimate Nightmare, but Terror and Yubel? Uh, before damage calculation, and that pretty much means that before Galaxy Eyes banishes. Uh, uh, middle of doing right now, and once this door is all of, no, no, all other monsters over, <coughs> over the video will be done, and I have and I have to record other videos. So let me guys, so you're gonna go ahead and summon your little Galaxy Eyes Chicky Chick. Tribute it, summon the Galaxy Eyes from your graveyard. Go ahead and take your Galaxy Eyes and ram it into my terror, thinking that it's gonna banish it, which it will. You're gonna take your 3000, and I'm gonna get Ultimate Nightmare. So. Nope, he has another Galaxy Soldier. Alright, he has his third one. Alright, pitch, summon Galaxy Soldier. It's fine. Mm hmm. Get another Galaxy Knight. But it's fine. So you're out of Galaxy Soldiers. What a shame. Summon Galaxy Knight. That's fine. Uh huh.
You gonna go into Tachyon again? Guess I gave you more props than that. I seriously thought you were just gonna summon your little galaxy ass trick. Oh, Heliopolis. Okay. Mm hmm. How many are you tripping? One. Two. Is there anything I want to chain? Nah. That's fine. So, how are you going to handle my tear? Like, that was just dumb. You burned up all them resources to not, not even handle my tear. What the fuck? A fact. Like, you, you clearly see Terra fucking wiping your shit, but you're gonna kill everything but the tear. Like, okay. Like I said, I'm probably giving you way more props than you deserve because right now I'm I'm thinking of the correct play while you're thinking of the incorrect play. You should have made a Felgram. So let me get. Now since you're all out of galaxies, everything you're just gonna go ahead and summon the little chicky. That's fine. Tribute it, summon a galaxy eyes from your graveyard. I don't give a fuck. Oh, it does say Galaxy Eyes Monster. Okay, that's cute. Mm -hmm. You need your effect, the tactics team material, and I get my effects. Wow. Alright. Then, if you do each during the battle phase this turn, each turn opponent card effect out of all this card gets dealt to Okay, so I will be taking three thousand. I will get my effect, and you can make an additional attack. That is totally fine. Choice is yours if you want to, though. You can make a second attack, and you're up to four thousand. Cool. Nah, you're not. That's what I thought, bitch. Now I'm gonna eat you for 3,000. Oh, yeah, you have another full armor. That's cute. That's cute. Alright. I'll stop using you, Bell, and actually start using some fucking injectors in this duel. How's that sound? I've just been playing around this entire duel. That's the funny thing. I've just been playing around. Yeah, I'll, I'll start taking the duel seriously. Stop, 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 stop. God damn it, I can't type. Stop. You don't control a level five or higher. That's not a level. That's a rank. <laughs> Now I know you have a Galaxy Expedition in your hand. It's not the best of cards to have in your hand, and so it's so it's going to come down to your top deck. Interesting. Interesting. And your turn. Shit. Nothing to mix up. There is nothing to mix up. All right. Well, I don't need you right now. So, the Dragonfly effect. I'm go ahead and. Equip that Hornet, Effects, go ahead and pop your Photon full armor, and I uh, will go ahead and summon not Centipede, because I can't pop anything anyway, so I'll go ahead and summon that, straight up. Like I said, he's, he's pretty much top decking at this point, so I don't have much to worry about. Pokey 4000, Pokey for 17. There's my first blood that I got in this duel. Really nothing. I'm in a foolish. Everything's in the graveyard. Ha! 
Got him. <laughs> uh, baited the shit out of that. Like, damn, that card does, like, nothing right now. Everyone be getting, uh, is there anybody I want to send? Nah, no effect. I'll just continue beating you. Yep. You don't think uh, you don't think you you thought you were in control of the duel, but I was in control of the duel the entire time. I know I got something in here. Yep. I'm gonna get a knight, summon call the haunted attack for game. That's only spell speed one, so. Should've went to Felgram. You could have done a lot more plays. Just gotta wrap this duel up and wrap this video up. <sighs> like I said sometimes I just give people more credit than they than I should. I think of the most optimal play most of the time. I think the most optimal play, and I can't guarantee my, my opponent will do the most optimal play. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So another episode of Vitamin Y down. Back from my break. So I hope that, that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Evo Art Trains. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Yeah.